one of the most commonly requested tutorials in Cinema 4D is uh, basically how to smash things up. And today I'm just going to show you a very basic tutorial, uh, the quickest and easiest way to achieve this. And I'm just going to keep it very simple. So I'm just going to start with a fresh scene and a cube. This is what I'm going to smash up. So I'm just going to push this back. And I like working in hidden line mode. So that's our cube object and I'm going to make it editable. And then I'm going to go to line mode, right click and use the knife tool. Now I'm just going to uncheck all these ticks here. And what we want to do is we basically want to cut some slices into this cube. And um, basically these are the kind of segments that are going to break off when something collides with it. So make it as detailed as you want. Uh, I'm just going to keep it quite simple. And um, I'm just going to rotate this cube. So that's quite detailed, like that. Now next, uh, you want to go to the selection tool, rectangle selection. Go to face mode. And make sure on the rectangle selection tool, you unselect, only select visible elements here. And then select all the faces, so everything's selected front and back. Now right click and go to disconnect, but choose the settings wheel here. And then uncheck preserve groups, click OK. So that's the cube ready. Now uh, we need to create a fracture object. And set the mode to explode segments under object mode explode segments. And put the cube inside of the fracture object. So this is basically ready to explode. Now we need something to collide with it, so I'm just going to create a sphere. Let's drag it out, make it a bit smaller, like that. Uh, I'm going to add some animation. So Z, position keyframe there. Move it to 10 frames, position keyframe there. So it's kind of going right through the cube. I'm going to right click animation, show F curve, and make this linear, so the speed's just linear. So uh, that's a very basic setup, and I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, you could make this kind of more detailed. You could basically, um, you might want to just have like a little object at the corner, and if you want like this cube to kind of stay still and only the corner to explode, you'd have to set it up in a certain way. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it very simple. And um, I'm just going to go to project settings, and I'm going to go to dynamics, and I'm going to set the gravity to zero because I just want a kind of zero gravity explosion effect. But you can leave this at a uh, thousand centimeters if you want. Now the final step is basically just to add some uh, simulation tags. So I'm going to choose a fracture object, tags, simulation, rigid body. Make sure you set uh, individual elements to all. That's very important. The sphere, just give it another uh, rigid body tag. That's fine. And I'm just going to play this back. Boom. So we get the um, destruction effect. Everything's breaking apart, which you might not want. So um, one trick would be to kind of create like a rigid object that's like half the cube and then another kind of um, explosion object, which looks like it's part of the cube that um, basically has a simulation tag. But um, that's the very kind of basics of it. And uh, lastly, I'm going to show you how to add a thickness to these pieces because they look kind of quite polygony. So all you have to do is uh, create a, where is it? Cloth. So if you go to simulate cloth, create a cloth surface, and then put the fracture object in the cloth surface like that. So we've got this hierarchy going on. And go to cloth, object, and give it a thickness. And now all these pieces have a thickness. Just gives it that kind of extra uh, level of realism. And this can actually really slow down your uh, simulation. But uh, you can always go to the dynamics body tag, go to cache, and bake all. And then that way it's going to pre render the whole scene. And now it should play back very quickly. 
So yeah, that's a very, very simple introduction to smashing stuff and and I hope this gives you some kind of cool ideas. Just keep pushing it further, try out some new things and uh, thanks for watching.